Do you want to participate in an EU grant or tender procedure? There is a register where you can encode your organization's data online before applying to a call for proposal or a call for tender. At a later stage, your organization will need to be validated before signing a grant agreement or a contract. The Research Executive Agency is now responsible for the legal validation and the financial capacity assessment of your organization. Here's how the process works. First, you'll need to register for a nine-digit code called a PIC. You'll use this later on at the submission stage. You only need to register once, no matter how many applications you intend to submit. Don't worry if you get stuck. There's a tutorial available to guide you through the registration process. So, you've got your PIC. You can now use this code when submitting your proposal or offer. At this stage, you don't need to take any further action. Let's say you've been successful in your application. The validation services will now contact you through the register. They will ask for your legal documents, which you'll need to upload. These documents include extracts of registration, legal entity forms, and more. On top of this, some of you may need to upload extra documents for the financial capacity assessment. You might also be asked to nominate a legal entity appointed representative. Once appointed by the validation services, the LEAR keeps your legal data up to date. If you have doubts at any time, the validation services will guide you through the register messaging functionality. There are also a number of FAQs and IT online support available. If you need further help, you can also contact the Research Inquiry Service. Register for a PIC today. The PIC will be the key to unlock the door to your application.